Well, kids have been back to school for almost a month, and already a lot of moms who pack a lot of lunches, <laughs> they're running out of ideas. Now, if that sounds familiar, we have an expert who can help you out. Neely Fisher is a mom of four, a food blogger, and a cookbook author. She joins us now with some healthy meals you can put together in five minutes. Neely, great to have you here on the show this morning. And you know that five minutes, I think that is absolutely key. Where do we start? All right, well, I have a great idea for you. I love to start with my containers. I know that sounds kind of silly, but when you have the right container, you know exactly what you're filling into it. It's super cute. The kids, like when they open something cute like this, it kind of, they already love it, right? I even did a little flexible cheat hack and I bought some chicken wings because I don't know about you, but I've been cooking 17 meals a day for the last year and a half. And so sometimes I do some cheats. And so I was like, you know what? I got some baked potato wedges, Better to use sweet potatoes if you want them a little healthier, some green beans and some bought chicken wings, five minutes. I the other that. thing, um, yeah, the other thing I love to do is I live with my freezer. It's like my best friend. So I had this cabbage and beef stew in the freezer. I'm actually gonna be feeding this to my kid for lunch today. And it basically just, I took it out of the freezer, defrosted it, popped it in my container, added a little salad. I keep these little jars of dressing like ready-made in the fridge. So the dressing is ready, you pop it right in. It comes with the cover, perfect, so easy. And it sounds like you're you're sort of like repurposing leftovers, you know? And, and Kinda, yeah. yeah that's, that's really a, a brilliant idea instead of always thinking a sandwich, right? <laughs> totally, and you know, the other thing I love to do, I have these cute little jars that I keep in the fridge, these little bento boxes where I keep cut up fresh fruits and vegetables, because you know what? Kids have been home a lot. They're eating a lot more junk than they used to. We're dealing with some more childhood obesity than we ever have before. So I love having these really quick and easy hacks in the fridge. I've got some peanut butter and hummus. This could actually constitute like a little meal and some cut up. Look at these cute little baby cucumbers. And it's just so easy for little hands to grab in the fridge. The other thing I love to do is I keep these bento boxes on my countertop. And so when the kids come home from school, because they might have not had such a, you know, big lunch or it might have been not that healthy, I put together these cute little boxes with seaweed crisps and gluten-free pretzels and some homemade gluten-free muffins, just so that they come home to like a fun treat. So I have a question for you, Neely, because some people have really picky eaters at home. I have a two-year-old and I gave her Chick-fil-A nuggets one time and I swear if she could eat those every day, that's all she would eat. <laughs> How do we please and appease those picky eaters? Yeah, look, I think you have to start with what they like. So if you know your kid doesn't like chicken, don't try chicken. Like, you know, give them a different kind of protein. So kind of really work with what they like. I have four kids, my oldest is 20, and I have been through every picker eater in the world. I've been through every stage in the world. And I think it's also about having perspective. Like, you know what, if your two-year-old doesn't eat that well today, think long-term. I always think about the long game with parenting. It's like, I do my best. I put it in front of them, modeling good behavior, right? If I'm stacking on a cucumber versus a potato chip, that's what they're gonna see at home. So I think really taking the time to invest in the long game is crucial. And, and realizing that yes, their taste buds will eventually change. Totally, <laughs> like one to day <laughs> when my kid ate a Brussels sprout, I was like, what? what? But then it was like, yes. <laughs> okay, Neely, so uh, here's a question for you. How do you keep hot things hot and cold things cold in those packed lunches. Exactly, I love that question. So first of all, this, it, a lot of kids are now coming home from school for, coming home for lunch from school. And so you could actually pop this in the oven if you have that option. But the other thing is to think about foods that if you pack them in the morning, they'll stay warm or even if not, they're good room temperature. Like I would totally eat this chicken nugget at room temperature, but thanks for asking because the other thing I love is I get these insulated bags. Um, they, it's actually an ice pack bag, so the whole thing is ice, but it also can just be room temperature and keep it warm. So either keep it cold or just keep it at whatever temperature you leave it, get a great bag and it will really save you a lot of hassle. And hopefully your kid doesn't throw out the food because like you say, if, it, if, it, if it's, ends, it's mushy and gross, they're not gonna even eat it anyway, right? Absolutely. Is there anything, I know that you pointed out that the uh, healthy snacks are kind of bite-sized and enticing for kids. Is there anything else we can do to make these appeasing and appealing to kids and entice them to eat, you know, the fruits and vegetables over like the Cheetos and Fritos? 
Well, first of all, not an exact answer to that question, but my number one rule to trying to get my kids to eat something healthy is to make sure that they're hungry to begin with. Because if you're not famished, you're not gonna even try like this little salad. It's like, if they're not hungry, they won't even look at it. So make sure they're hungry when they eat it. And you know, putting it in cute, like I have these cute little jars, can you see? These little jars that say veggies and this, and you know, it, and they feel kind of cute eating it. The other thing is I, my youngest is nine. And so he's now started helping me with his meal prep because it's fun and we, we cook together and we bake together. So I think getting them involved in the process will also make them feel really proud of their creations. Like, oh my gosh, like I just put cauliflower in the mac and cheese. Like that's actually yummy, you know? So then they take ownership. I like that because mm -hmm. some kids need that independence and autonomy to say, yes, I made this and mm -hmm. I want to eat this. Mm -hmm. So Neely Fisher, founder of The Flexible Chef, thank you for showing us these great lunchbox ideas. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Have a great day. We'll see you next time, Neely. Thanks.